So one day when I was asleep, I dreamed that I wrote a poem. And later that day when I woke up, I didn't quite remember the poem I wrote. Um, the next day, I dreamed about kissing you. And when I woke up and kissed you, I started to remember the poem again. So I know it had to be a love poem because loving you is like forgetting all the times we kissed, but every time we kiss, remembering the first kiss we ever had. Wow. And now and every time I close my eyes to sleep, I try the same routine because not having the same dream is a nightmare. And deja vu isn't as real as this kiss was. And love isn't a memory that you forget. It's a constant reminder that the heart still beats, even when it breaks. And when you heal the heart, it doesn't change its shape. And love poems, I mean real love poems, come from forgotten kisses and heartaches. Um, I remember my first kiss. First grade, her name Patricia Smith, her lips, her lips taste like French toast cafeteria's breakfast. I mean, by recess, she was kissing another one of my friends, and I knew in that moment that love poems begin wherever the last kiss ends. My first poem was covered in tears and disappointment, but I could still taste the syrup on her lips. And I knew at seven years old that I can feel, and that's all that mattered, because that's when I knew that love was real. Um, falling in love is like putting your hand in the cookie jar. Being in love is like actually biting the cookie. And um, getting your heart broke, getting your heart broke is like putting your hand in the cookie jar and getting caught and being punished for it. I mean, I guess what I'm trying to say is I love love like I love cookies. And I'll sacrifice being punished for it as long as it's sweet while it lasts. 